that? You shoot like my sister. God damn it, now this whole fucking place is gonna break to the ground. What a waste of <laughs> Come on, huh? We gotta move. He's armed. I'm going in. Oh no! No! All right, showtime, Vito. Oh god! Oh god! No! I won't want to get on your bad side. Button, Vito. What the hell are you doing, Joe? What? Thirsty. Pretty good stuff. You should try it. Drinking on the job, huh? When'd you turn Irish? Sakes. Vito, do something! You're the expert here! It's fucking over! Senses regards. Oh, fuck. <coughs> oh, fuck you. I'm sorry, you <coughs> fuck. <coughs> Henry, you okay? <coughs> Where'd he hit? Of course, I'm not fucking okay. He shot me in the fucking leg. <coughs> God. Oh, yeah, it's bleeding all Son over. Son of a place. Get me to El Greco. The fucking painter? No, the fucking doctor, okay, you okay, idiot. easy. We're gonna get you there in a minute. The Greek guy lives up in Highbrook. Right, let's get you to the oh, car. Come oh, on, You're heavier than you look. Fuck, fuck. He almost shot my balls off. Take it easy. He missed him by a mile. Come on, Vito! He's bleeding all over the place! Move it! Hey, careful! This fucking hurts! No! Yeah, please! Wait, you can walk. I don't want to die! You're moaning! 
Hey, you're right. I don't need to get pissy. I'm the one bleeding at that here. Place is coming apart. Got hurt. Fire spread. It's just a scratch. The doc will give you a few stitches, and then we'll all go out and celebrate. No, really. Shh. You shouldn't talk right now. Helps conserve your strength. I've seen that in a movie once. Yeah? And what happened to the guy in the movie? He died. Nah. Jesus, you drive like my fucking grandmother. Go any faster? Going as fast as I can, damn it. Well, it ain't fast enough. Just relax, would you? Get the I got a hole in my leg. We're taking it down. A fucking golf ball, and you're telling me to relax? Time for Just get me to El Greco, damn it. Hey, Vito, step on it. Henry sweating like a whore in church back here. You know what would make me drive faster? You start as it. So, fellas, who is this guy? What guy? This guy we're taking Henry to. El Greco? He's a doctor. Throw him a couple of bucks, he patches you up. No questions asked. He's the guy you go see when you can't go to the hospital, genius. Why the hell wouldn't you be able to go to the hospital? Because you go to the hospital with a bullet in you, first thing they do is call the cops. Yeah. So El Greco deals with a lot of guys in our line of work. You shouldn't need to visit him, though, Vito. You've always been a quick healer. Must be your diet. Henry, you awake? Stay with me now. Yeah. Just hang in there, pal. We'll be at El Greco's in a minute. I can smell the souvlaki from here. Ah, uh, come on, Vito. At this rate, we get there fast if we walk. Step on it or Henry's done for. If he dies, you're buried. <laughs> Vito there. That house. Park right in front. Greco the doctor? No. I'm the fucking painter. A friend wow. needs help. He's gonna bleed. Uh, thanks, Doc. Good God, hand it. you one. Get him inside. Hello, though. Wait. I got money for you. For the job. Take it. You know this could have waited. But thanks. But hey, thanks for everything. I hope you'll be okay. Yeah. Me too. I'll uh, stay here with him. Uh, Meet me in my place. Uh, please. All right.
Get out of there. Oh, hey, how you doing? Shh, no, 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 no. I just wanted to give you the money to pay off Papa's debt. Oh, Vito, that's great. I was gonna try and see if we could pay it back in installments. I got a little money. He wouldn't have hurt us. Don't be so sure, but it doesn't matter now. Here, take Where'd it. you get all this money, Vito? You haven't done nothing you'll be sorry for, have hey, you? don't worry. Everything's fine. Thank you, Vito. Thank no you. No problem. All right, look, I better be going. I, I don't want Ma to see me. She'll be asking where I got the money, too. Don't worry. I'll make something up. All right. Give her a big kiss for I me, will. okay? Take care of yourself, Vito.
Vita Scaletta? Yeah? What's it to you? You're under arrest for the illegal distribution of federal ration stamps. You're coming with us. One of the gas station attendants ratted me out. The guy fingered me and they strung our mama into telling him where I was staying. But they had no idea who I was working for and I wasn't about to tell them. Henry was able to get me a lawyer, courtesy of his boss, Clementi. I was up Shit's Creek, but at least I had a paddle. Could have been a hell of a lot worse if the feds knew and about I any of my other crime activities. to be even more serious, considering the fact that you stole national resources at a time when our country needs them the most. An act the gravity of which you, Mr. Scaletta... The guy was good, but even he couldn't get yourself. me out of this one. Should it was a lost cause from day one. Three months later... They handed down the verdict. Vittorio Antonio Scaletta, for your crimes against the people of this city and of this great country, this court hereby sentences you to ten years in a federal penitentiary. Welcome yeah. to hell, new boys. Ah, yes, yeah, me, baby. Woo, woo, That's woo, right. Woo, Welcome woo. to my life. <laughs> We're gonna get you. <laughs> Ooh, look at the that. federal pen. Thieves, murderers, Ooh, child molesters. They were all one. here. Come on, the yeah. worst of the worst. All right, get in line, gentlemen. Follow me, single file, and no Ooh, monkey woo, business, woo, or woo, else. Woo. Let's go, assholes! You want to make problems, you son of a bitch? I, I'm sorry. What's the matter? Don't no speak any English? Here, let me teach you. What, do you enjoy this, you sick fuck? Now, get your ass up and get no, back in line. No! Go. Hey, smartass, don't make me repeat myself. Back in line. Move it! Stop right there. Turn to your right. Your other right. Listen up, assholes. My name is Captain Terrence Stone and this is my prison. You're here on the inside because you can't behave like normal human beings on the outside. Make no mistake. Your ass belongs to me now, and you'll do what I say, or you'll be sorry that you didn't! Fuck with me, and I'll fuck with your sorry ass all day long! You were sent here to be rehabilitated, and rehabilitate you? We will. Okay, you assholes. We're gonna cut you loose. Just long enough to get you cleaned up. Now get in line and follow me. Welcome to the salon, ladies. You're gonna look just fucking beautiful. Hey, me too? I ain't got nothing on my head to cut. Shut your face, cue ball. Okay, let's go. Hey, shit for brains. Do what you're fucking told.
Listen, frick boy, if you ain't gonna do what you're told, we're gonna stick you in the hole. Follow me. This was gonna be my new home for the next ten years. Look like shit and smell like piss. I would have preferred dodging bullets in Europe to this. After three action-packed days of staring at the wall, I got a message from Joe to contact a guy named Leo Galante, who could supposedly help me out in here. This wasn't the kind of place where you could survive on your own. I need to talk to Leo Galante. Point him out, will you? Leave me the fuck alone. They should let me out next summer. I'm looking for Leo Galante. Buzz off, asshole. What do you do this time? The usual. Told Stone to go and fuck himself, and then tried to fight the guard. No chance to survive. Oh. Excuse me, you know where Leo Galante is? Don't annoy him. Sorry. I mean, cannot train soul brother uh, in ways of fun. Why not? But what? Mean make you deal. Hey, you teach me I need to talk to Leo Galante. Point him out, will you? No good speaking to White Devil. You go away now. I know you. You're that fucking guinea who was with Barbara in a jewelry store. I'm in this fucking hell hell because of you. You got locked up because you're a stupid, crazy fuck. <laughs> you know, fellas, my mom was right. There is a god! <laughs> and he sent you here, you guinea bastard, so that I could pay you back! Yeah. Uh. <laughs> this looks interesting. Want to make a small bet? I'm gonna break you, dick! Stop this fucking brain! Yeah. Come on, you Get this fucking Dago ass! <laughs> this is gonna be easier than the time I shot the potato up your mother's ass. <laughs> oh, yeah. faggots for breakfast? <laughs> We're gonna give you a little time to think about what you've done. Close it up. So O'Neill almost took my head off, but I made a stand. Let me tell you something, when you're inside, it counts for a lot more than you might think. How long are you planning on keeping him in here? Long enough to learn his lesson. That's gonna have to change. He in any shape to fight. Should be. Boys didn't knock him around too bad after the brawl in the yard. All right, open it up. Rise and shine, Scaletta. You got yourself a visitor. 
My name is Leo Galante. I heard you wanted to speak to me. Yeah. Uh, one of Clemente's guys said I should contact you. Said maybe you could help me out. Oh, fuck Clemente. I don't provide protection for his guys in here. But I saw how you handled that Mick who's after you, O'Neill. You could prove useful. Come with me, boy. <clears throat> now listen up, fellas. This is Vito. He's gonna be helping us out. Peppy here's got a big fight coming up. Against O'Neill. He needs a sparring partner. And from what I saw of you out there in the yard, you're just the man for the job. You're gonna help us out, kid. In return, you'll be under my protection. And who knows, maybe you'll even learn a thing or two along the way. I guess I can't say no to that offer, huh? I don't remember asking. All right, fellas. Let's get this show on the road. Okay, today we're gonna work on your counterpunching. Vito, I want you to hit Pepe. Try and bust that big jaw of his. Pepe, you avoid the punch like I showed you. Then use that momentum to throw a punch of your own. All right, fellas. Let's get going. That a boy, Pepe. Keep that oversized chin of yours down, damn it. Footwork, Pepe. Remember your footwork. Remember, good defense can win a fight, fellas. Every punch you take could be your last. <laughs> it's good. Whoa! Would you look at that? Hey! We supposed to be sparring or training? Change of plans, big fella. This kid's got fire in him. So now you're both gonna practice your counter punches. All right, Vito. See if you can do that again. It's a handy tool to have in the box, huh? Most guys ain't gonna see it coming. Peppy here, <laughs> he ain't most guys, though. Nice one. Nice kid, Shit, nice. Kid. That Two hurt. more of those. Whoa! All right, Ouch. one more, Vito. Nice one. There you go. You're a fast learner, kid. All right, fellas, that's enough for today. Nice work. So how close did you get to Clemente, Vito? Actually, I never met him. I always dealt with either Henry Tomasino or Luca Garino. Huh. I can't believe that cocksucker Garino's still breathing. What was your deal with him? Well, you know, we did a couple jobs for him, and, uh... Luca said he'd bring us into the family for, uh, five grand. What? Typical fucking Alberto. He's always been a crooked bastard. Uh... So what is that, like, more than usual? Yeah, like five grand more than usual. You don't gotta pay to get in, Vito. You're brought into the family once you prove that you're loyal, a good earner. And he can handle... <laughs> you know, the life. In any case, this is an interesting piece of news. When this gets out, Alberto and Luca are gonna have a lot of explaining to do. To who? Jeez. Don't worry about that. We'll talk about it some other time. Come on, give me another 20. Hey, how you doing? Name's Vito. Yeah, I know. Name's Al. Good to meet you. Yeah, that's it. Keep it up. How's old man Galante know so much about boxing? Never know by looking at him now, but he was a prize on, fighter back in the day. 20. Damn good one, too. No shit. Yeah, heard he used to fight in bare knuckle matches before he went pro. I'm just glad he organizes these fights. Not that there's anything else to do in here, you know. And he must be making a small fortune on all the bets he takes. Keep it up. <laughs> Matter of fact, I heard that's what he's in here for. He's one of the biggest bookies in Empire Bay. Come on, give me another 20. Hey, how you doing? Name's Vito. Sam, how you doing? Yeah, that's it. Watch where you walk, Guaylo. Maybe if your eyes were all the way open, you would've seen me coming, asshole. Galante. Crooked white devil. Nice to see you too, Mr. Wu. Crooked? 
You bet on your own guy and he lost. That's the way it works in this country. Then Wu offer you a rematch. I think I can arrange that. You up to it, Vito? Chinaman, huh? Yeah, get him a stepladder and send them over. All right, Wu. Looks like you got yourself a rematch. And none of that chop suey crap this time. Now listen, these chinks are quick little bastards. No point in throwing big punches early on. You'll never connect. All right. What am I supposed to do then? You hit him quick and tire him out. When he's weak, he'll put his guard down. Then you swing for the fences. Now get This no happen if you use tiger style. Let's go, Scaletta. You're late for work. Hey, listen. Vito here's got the day off, courtesy of Mr. Galante. Gotcha. Don't get used to it, Scalata. All right. Come with me, Vito. What, are we gonna train some more? Uh, sorta. You'll see. Morning, kid. Morning, Mr. Galante. Why no training today? Not exactly. We got a challenge from the spooks, and I don't want to risk Peppy getting all banged up before his big fight with O'Neill. So I want you to take this one. It'll be good practice for you. Come on. Now the guy you're gonna be fighting is a strong bastard, but he ain't too bright. Fights with his heart, not his head. You piss him off, you lower his guard. That's when you let him have it. All right, here we go. Make me proud, kid. Ooh, looky here. I'ma take this skinny-ass white boy to school. Gonna hit him so hard his mama's mama gonna feel it. Hope you meatballs getting ready to lose. Hey, win or lose, it'll probably be the hardest work this bum ever did in his life. Oh, come on, my grandmama hit me hotter than that. <laughs> Laying down on a job like a... No, Vito. Grab him and finish him off. Now's your chance, kid. Knock Yo, him in the next. Hell of a job, kid. Hell of a job. Here's your cut, Vito. You earned it. <laughs> 